Hello everyone, I am Siddharth. This is Freak at FEM. In this tutorial, we learn static analysis. And what is FEM Workbench? Freak at FEM Workbench solves many complex structural and thermal engineering problems. And it is also used to solve float mechanics problem. Here is the workflow. First is pre-processing. Second is solver and the last is post processing under the pre processing we need to create model so modeling the geometry you can create model in freecad or import from other software second is use fem workbench for analysis for analysis apply material on model and apply constant fix support and load and create mesh which are two types first is G mesh and second is net gain then under the solver run the solver under the post processing visualize the analysis result from within free CAD I am solving first example apply force on bottom end of metal bar and its other end is fixed this is bar the width of this bar is 50 mm and thickness is 50 mm the length of this bar is 200 mm and young modulus is 80 gigapascal and the apply force is 500,000 newton due to apply this force its length is changed here is the formula for change length Change length equal to force into length of bar upon area into young modulus. Put all this value in this formula, then we get this value 0.5 mm. This is the change length of this bar. Let's go to solve this problem in FreeCAD. Now select part, select new file. Create solid cube, select cube and change these dimensions. The length of this cube is 200 and width is 50 mm and height is 50 mm. Now choose FEM, create analysis, for apply material choose this button. Now use FreeCAD material editor, change the mechanical property of this material, change young modulus, this is 80 gigapascal. Don't need to change the density of the material for this problem. Now press OK. Now select solid and select this body and select add button. Now press OK. Now apply fixed constraint. Select fixed constraint, select this face and select add button. Now press OK. Now apply force on this end, select force and select this face and select add button. Now change the value of force. This is 500,000 Newton. Now press OK. Now apply mesh. Select this body and choose net gain. Now change the element size. This is 10. Now apply. Now press OK. 
Now double click mouse left button on solver. Choose static. Now close. Now select solver. Click on run solver. Now I get the result. Now double click on this and choose displacement magnitude. This is the chain length all the body. So we get maximum length of the body. This is 0.5 mm for animations like this bar. Now close it. Now select result and create post processing. Select this button. Now select warp vector. Change the mode. Select surface. and change the field select displacement and select magnitude now apply so we having some issue select preference and choose display Check the backlight color. Now apply. Press OK. Now apply and press OK. You can see that this color has been changed. So here the result. So we have completed this part. Thank you for watching video.